Are we muted? Ah, oh, there we are. Like, full-length picture of you, man. I just seen, like... You don't have legs, Ian. Yeah. You... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have seen my who arms, I was going to say. Who knows? Uh, maybe I've seen I'm your a arms. Yeah, I have seen your arms. Definitely. I was going to say, maybe I'm a nugget. There you don't go. know. <laughs> just a nugget? I could, I could <laughs> see you being, like, four foot... I worked with a coworker last night... Who was um like four no, foot Markham. eight? Markham, a and, nugget um, is someone with no night. legs or arms. Oh, I didn't know there was a <laughs> term for that. Markham. Oh, Markham. Markham. Matt, you are literally oh. just a tiny floating head. It's adorable. You look like the shortest person on the stream. <laughs> ah, every every yeah. session, your camera just tilts a little bit higher. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. You just, Here, hold on. just by the by the end of stream we're just getting forehead. By by the time <laughs> yeah by the time by the time we get to uh by the time we get to the the ca campaign finale you'll be like the... <laughs> what's going on out there I can't see. Hey, Would you I like am me to just fight for me? To Gimli. Or shall I, I get you a box? Love Gimli. <laughs> You're gonna have to throw me. I don't I am don't I am Gimli in spirit, not in stature. You'll I'm have to fucking... toss me. Considering Hello, the everyone. fact that you're actually pretty close to the actual John Rice Davies height, he is huge. He was the tallest guy in the cast. Huh. Yeah, oh, yeah. he was Treebeard. Yeah. He also voiced Treebeard, that's true. Oh, that makes so now, I've, wait, I've met him I'm in Treebeard? person and he is towering. So wait, I'm Treebeard and Gimli? Wait, 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 hold on. Gimli you got plays your Treebeard. Tree Act, yeah, the actor who plays Gimli also voiced Treebeard. That is so fucking awesome. Yeah. I know, isn't it? He's got a great Hello voice. everyone. <laughs> Hello friends, we're live welcome, now. What, what, welcome, Hello. welcome to the Lost Continent. Ian <laughs> Ian's voice is ASMR level tonight. Um thank I you guess for joining it's, us. Uh, morning voice. Mm -hmm. On Sweet our voice. smooth morning voice podcast. No. Uh no Lost Stop. Continent. Uh, no. I, I will no. I will I will I will quit. I will leave right now if you don't stop. How dare you insult the ASMR What? No, voice. no ara aras? No. Marco, uh, <laughs> you... Marco, give us Just an ara ara. ara ara. No. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Markham. Okay. Markham. You don't watch it. Anyway. <laughs> Why is it that the Kimi Yoaimo? Yoaimo. I watch it subbed, not dubbed. No, dubbed, My not subbed. Favorite so... right now. I have right, so much me. thirst. So much. What, for Gojo? Mm-hmm. Unapologetically. Unapologetically. You thirst for a lot of people, Selkie. You mm -hmm. thirst for a lot of people. I'm a whore. What do you want? <laughs> have you read the manga? I haven't read the manga, but I, like, I want it. I was going to say we have it, but no, we have the full uh, Demon Slayer manga. Oh. I can get into Demon Slayer, honestly. I don't know. You could, or you couldn't. Could not. I don't have anyone to talk to about what's happening currently in Jujutsu Kaisen or My Hero, and it's. Mm. I need to catch up. Or Chainsaw Man. That's I one that I want to see. Things. I want to watch Chainsaw Man, but I don't know where. I don't know how to print it roll. I don't know how to start. And why does my camera look like it's from, like mine in particular? It's got like a bzz, bzz across the screen. It's like what is yeah. this? The 1990s VCR? No, I was gonna yeah, say. Is, your, is your camera plugged all the way in? Is it a little loose? That could do it. I don't know. Oh, crab nuggets. 
Kiki, don't worry. That's Wait, just the heater. Wait, Gimli is the voice of Manta Ray? Is that who we're talking about right now? Manta Ray from SpongeBob? There we go. Yeah. That makes so much Horn sense. Seller. Is that better? What? Horn Seller, come back. That makes what? so much sense. I need sense. to know, is, is the one who plays... You are a blessing, Ian. I love you dearly. That he makes plays an elf. too much sense. He also he also played Sulla in Indiana Jones, one of my favorite. Yes, seasons. I do love him in the Indiana Jones. Who plays Gimli? I'm gonna look. Up I was his so IMDb glad he got to because... come back for the the final movie. Yeah, he was in Ooh. the Last Crusade. Yeah, uh, he was in. Hacker. He was in oh, more than just. Are we crusade. ready for our Last Crusade? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go. All right, so. Um, actually, um, he was in Raiders of the Lost Ark, Last Crusade, and Dial of Destiny. But anyhow, um, thank you everyone for showing up. Uh, we are the Lost Continent. Um, oh, who's the first game? We yeah. are picking up uh, right mm-hmm. where we left off. It's been a couple oh, no. of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, people have been really tired, and um. Wow, that was a good expression, Selkie. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I just spread up on this man and I got really excited. He's fantastic, yeah. Um, he is amazing. One of my favorite uh... actors I've gotten to meet. And, uh, well, <laughs> that I've gotten to run into, and I mean in the no. literal sense. No, uh, gotta get so... back on it. I, I, hate, I hate what I'm about to enter right now. I hate it so much. I hate it so, so freaking much. So when we left off, Sir Wellington was on watch. Uh, he spotted Callie getting carried away by this tall strange woman um lucky. into the castle that no not lucky <laughs> he, rec- he recognized this tall strange yes, woman not yes, lucky marcus <laughs> was about to have a showdown just him in like 16s uh with the uh, one and only oviran king oh, of yeah. the feywilds i have um, to lie to fucking oviran i'm so fucking screwed <laughs> uh and then abigail was i do believe asleep Wow, she has like the most chill thing right now. <laughs> oh, and Abigail was sweet. Actually, um, could you roll just a straight D twenty for me, uh, Naz? Oh no. See how well you're sleeping. Oh, no. Are you sleeping, or are you uh, doing okay. something else? That's a twelve. Okay, you wake up in the dream world. You see this large dark mass in the distance. No, I'm kidding. Um, oh God. Oh no. No. <laughs> Um, no, that was a reference only for me and Naz. Mark. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. That's yeah. That happened to some That's of our Kralis characters reference. in Kralis. Yep. Um, no, oh. with a twelve. Oh, not she's... that. Okay, I thought it was a different one. Never mind. Sorry. Oh. No, that was a Oh reference. no, it, it was not a reference to Oberus. No, don't worry. You know, sorry. That was. My, that's my thing. I'm like, oh. So no. anyway, the um, continue. the uh uh da, da, um. She's sleeping relatively peacefully. Uh, with as well a twelve, as she can for a human. she's having yeah. She's like there's a root or something in her back, um, but it's it's you know she's not having nightmares or anything, so that's good. Um, the ba ba ba. Who else? Say, uh, I need to roll something to see who we're gonna start with. I'm gonna roll a d two. Oh no! Heads or tails. No. Selkie. Uh, Tails. It's heads. Okay. Looks like we are starting with Marcus and Oviran. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, heavens no. I'm going to see you turn into a giant insect. Giant insect. Ah, uh, this, no, no, uh, no. He's no. going to die in like a couple thousand years. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do this. So. You come in, you have this massive aphid um, species of a uh, fairy-like creature, um, except he's about 15 feet tall. Uh, relaxing on his throne, his feet are up on a pedestal made of gold that appears to be in the shape of a kneeling satyr. Um, what do I'm you so want to do? I'm so glad I get cut off your head. Like... All right. Was it... <laughs> Wait, who am I? Nope. Am I with Kevin or who am I with? Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, you are, with, Kevin. you are with Kevin. You are with uh, Ihanala. Oh, thank and you. you are with... Yeah. Um, I thought Ihanala was off with the kids. 
That's what I thought too. Oh, you're right. They split off to go steal. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. They're silly. Yep. It's We're just freaking... you and Kevin. You and Kevin. Uh, so <laughs> he's going to like look at this. Uh, I'm trying not to have the Milo hate come out. <laughs> contain it. Contain, uh, contain it. it. So contain he's going to look at this aphid and just kind of realize how in over his head he actually is. And he just kind of looks over at uh, Kevin with this look of, what the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> what what do I do? <laughs> Performance check. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, am a, I am zero. I, I am a ten. But wait, you hold on, can, actually. What? They're two copy. very different ends of the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I am. I am a, ten. I I just have a ten in charisma. I have no oh. modifier whatsoever. That's it. I only have persuasion because I literally just gave him that. Oh no. Okay. Uh. Okay, remind me what? Well, did Kevin and I plan on doing necessarily? Like, what were we going to? How are we going to distract? Over on. Uh, let me think. I do believe I. I think it's been like three weeks since we've played. Um, yeah. No, no, it's just oh, been no. two. Just, uh, just, two. We just didn't play last week. No, yeah. we didn't play the week before that either. No, we played. Well, either way. That's the week before is whenever I yeeted myself off the chair. Oh, it was? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah oh, the week before I... that we didn't play. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Anyway. Ah, so We've accidentally been yeah. on every other week campaign temporarily. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I am wondering what is the plan. Yeah, all of us are. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm okay, honey. Yes, Just drop you guys my have the, dice um, thing. All right, you have an audience with him. I'm trying to remember. What did you guys discuss? Your plan? Nothing. Uh, he made the reveal. You were just and going to. Were you like, were just going to. You, you two were going to go and keep the king's attention. Yeah. Somehow. Oh no! the The entire purpose of you guys coming to seek an audience was just so you could get inside the castle. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, so now the kids can go steal. So the kids now are, have branched off. They're going to go do the stealing. You only have to stall for time so they can regroup with you on the way out. Honey, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda just walked in. And I'm like, I'm so scared. Because I have to talk to a fae god and Marcus is going to die. Anyway. No, I don't think Marcus is going to die. I think you are. going to transcend. Hmm. Hold on just a second. So while I'll give I'll give you a yeah. moment, Matt, um, if you need a moment, uh, we can pan over to Callie being uh, hoisted by her petard. Um, uh, no, I got I got it. I got it. Sorry. It's just she wanted to show me something. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. He's he's again gonna look at uh Marcus and just not. Oh yeah, I'm Marcus. <laughs> he's gonna You're look Marcus. at Kevin. Hi. He's, and... he's gonna see the deity. He's gonna jump out of, out of his own serious. body, turn and look <laughs> at his soul and his body, and they'll be like, "We're fucked," and then they'll merge back together again. Right. Yep. No. <laughs> and they have this cronk moment where he has to talk to the angel and devil on his shoulders. So here's what I was thinking. We just side with this guy and the problem solved. He'll send us home. Well, yes, but if we do that, then we're betraying everything we stand for. Ah, but he's boring. <laughs> this game. Yeah, but he will take us on as his as his new Protégé. follower. And remember we're already that, to one thing. Remember that fey general you guys fought and killed in the sequel? Yeah, that was Marcus. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird to think of that as a sequel. It is technically, yeah. yeah. 
campaign. The other campaign is, is you guys have been playing it simultaneously, but it is actually the sequel set years later. Uh, We're doing Marcus... the Star Wars style out of order. Fair enough. It's fun for me to keep track of lore that way. <laughs> you should see my notes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, Marcus will just kind of, he can't, he's, he's just going to wave. Just. He'll, Oviran will lean back and kind of just like stroke his beard and. Is greasy, greasy. You have beard. my attention. Why do you come here? Seeking an audience with me. Because he's pretty. Well, well, uh, I'm. Kevin's here. like, you get this? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get Fucking, this? You need help? Like... <laughs> he's gonna just kind of look help. at him and his eyes are like, help me. As he's talking, he's like, I just have her. Wait, we had Marcus some questions for you. Um, yes. If I yes. may button, thank you. Uh, we were curious about a festival uh, in in the, the forest. Uh, Man, you fucked up. <laughs> we were thinking, if we could perhaps get your permission, we would like to throw a grand festival and perhaps even invite beings from other dimensions. Um, I have come across this uh, mortal wandering our woods and I thought uh, what better way to celebrate visitors than music and food yeah and I do have uh, some connections I'm not gonna lie got some really good connections to make the party really fun and just yeah make it whole jamboree and everything make a deception check with advantage <laughs> <laughs> is it because I use only because of Kevin <laughs> That's a nat 20. Hey! I'm, I'm not even joking. First There's, roll of the night. You don't even need the advantage. <laughs> Are you texting me, hun? You should probably just go ahead and go to bed now. You're welcome. Yes. In a minute. All right. Uh, so Nat twenty, Oviran leans back and uh, he'll he oh, no he'll he'll lean forward. He'll take his feet temporarily off of the golden footstool and he'll go. A festival. Hmm. That is a grand idea. I think. It would be fun if we did have some mortals to talk. And you brought one here. Wonderful. He'll lean it's back so again. so wonderful, Marcus. Kicking, Laser he'll lean back, oh. kicking his, his feet back onto the footstool. And he'll, Do you hear that? Looks like we're going to have some fun around here. Marcus is just going to kind of look. Marcus is just going to kind of look awkwardly at the statue and then back at back at him and just like because he's so never because I assume he's never seen like a hell he's never even seen a stone statue he's never seen a gold statue no yeah this is this is very well carved um you've seen stone statues before well, like, you're you're a cleric you've been to a church at least once you, you, I mean, you, I mean you, done by so, Medusa you, you, though you you no, you've seen the, the one that we found in the crate that was surrounded by jewels. That's true. That, that one. Oh, that is true. Okay, you he's seen, gonna think you've back seen to this before. Okay, never mind. He's gonna think back to and go like, is that? And he's gonna think to himself, is that sort of the same thing? And then sort of look back and just. Don't uh... ask questions. I think you're onto something, and. Marcus just smiles awkwardly. Just If you can collect enough uh, mortals for this festival, 20 at the least, at the very least, I say go for it. So 
work. Yes, mortal, you have a question. <laughs> We're uh, slaves, dude. <laughs> uh, just a quick question. What necessarily... What kind of mortals do you want? Do you want performers? Do you want cooks? I I I just need a I just need a range of any mortals grain. will do if they have a special talent like music or or food cooking. Uh, that's especially good. But any mortal will do fine. He's gonna like look a brief glance at Kevin and then back is like. Understood. Wonderful. Ah, I do hope you're enjoying your time here in the Feywilds. Uh, it's <laughs> certain. It's certainly interesting. I will say that. Indeed. Very different. Well, we try to make it as accommodating as possible for our guests. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, hold on. Let me actually do something really quick. So much rage. No, that's not enough. Okay. <laughs> he's going <laughs> to he's gonna look at the statue again, just curious about it. <laughs> I got to say, that's a very, very well carved uh, carved sculpture. Uh, you, you need to get me in contact with your... Uh, with your sculptor. <laughs> that would be uh, that would be our dear uh, very own King Midas. He handles uh, life in the mountain regions. Uh, oh, oh! Phenomenal artist and a damn good king, I might add. That's a uh, good to know. Very, very good to know. And I assume does Marcus know King My Midas? I assume. Make a religion check. You need a 12 or higher. <laughs> I was about to say. Hey, we got raided. Hi, raiders. Hello, raiders. Thank Hello. you for joining Hello, us. Raiders. I don't know what this accent is, but apparently we're going Where did now. it come from? <laughs> I don't I'm, know. <laughs> yeah, what the heck was that? Uh, that's a... That's a 18? An 18. I think it was the way I twisted my torso. Um, an 18. Were you slightly in pain? <laughs> I, it, became it, it squeezed the air out weird, and I, I accidentally rolled my tongue in the process. Um, just turned into kind of a Scottish accent. Uh, with an 18, you would know Midas is one of the fey, um, deities, uh, an archfey. Um, rules over the mountain region of Phalia. Very powerful, insanely wealthy individual. Does a lot with gold. Other than that, that's about all you know. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. You know, yeah, I've, I've heard of him. I'll definitely talk to him. if, Especially if he comes to this party. <laughs> it would be quite nice if anyone who is anyone came to the party. Yes, including definitely. your little friend, Kevin. Where is Ahanala these days? Haven't seen the little trickster in some time. Oh, wait, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, He's been very busy baking cookies lately. We've been working hard. And um, <laughs> in some ways, hardly working. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, uh, he, he will... Be happy to attend the festival, I have no doubt. I mean, he's got to share the cookies, right? I mean, those are. Oh, those I would damn expect cookies. nothing less. He must share these cookies. And tell me, does he still lit about with Loki? Because let me just tell you. Uh that man gets on my nerves. Something fierce. You did. Goodbye. 
Hmm? My sweet boy. Yep. But, mm, but, but. He does nothing wrong. Okay. As. That, yeah, no. Yes. Uh, mm. Loki, as in the chief archfey of Phalia, yes. That one. Uh, yeah, that's, uh. Oh my. <laughs> we we definitely have some stories about him. Uh and as he further unravels. This yeah. Just party. Cookies, all all that. Excellent. Well, I would not wish to keep you. The festival will be in three days' time. I expect you to have ample supplies ready for the festival and i expect to see everyone there how are they going to get more than 20 mortals do they have that many with did that many come yeah. through the portal I they're about so. 28 <laughs> oh, okay then they're good then we're fine he, how long has it been in game time because this is certainly not enough time for the people to do their work uh, you guys have probably been chatting for about ten minutes. How long would it possibly... Would Marcus have an idea of Roll how long Roll an intelligence take? check. Okay. Okay, not bad. Uh, Fourteen? Yeah, well, it might be long enough. It's hard to tell. You're right. You're gonna look and go, oh, there is one thing Whoa. uh yes uh how <laughs> what the heck how did are you your... do, Selk? <laughs> uh, my whole zoom just crashed there we go yeah <laughs> well back. you were dm for a split second all right <laughs> tell you what you make sure zoom is all set up um we're fine okay good good it just crashed for a second i don't know what's going on do you need to go tense the wife kayla needs me real quick so we'll go on a quick two minute break um, give me time to gather your thoughts, Matt. Yeah. Uh, I, I already have a thought, but yeah, we can take the two minutes to fully get it through. Perfect. All right. You ready how you're going to stall the Archfey? I will be back in uh, five minutes max. And right. um, we'll be back on then. I'm going to go do something real quick.
Okay, Mar I have an idea of what Mar I have now a more full idea okay. of what Marcus will say. So. Fire away. Ah, we're all oh. wonky again. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Ness, with go. our powers combined. <laughs> Mark first it's Selkie, Welcome. first it's Nez. <laughs> Le fou. Alright. Um, oh, so I'm sorry for what I'm about to share with you guys, but I'm not. Mm, I don't like that. What is it? I don't like that pre... What is it? Pre... Why why do we have two of Matt? <laughs> Something's weird here. Oh, that's me. Ah, for the love of Okay. My now that God. we're fixed, can we not do this again? Okay, my my No. You're... No. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, just let me know when I when Go Marcus for it, we're set. It. We're set. Okay. He's gonna uh just like kinda go, Oh, I do have a question really quick. Uh, is anyone sensitive to flashing lights by chance? I'm sure there are some who are, but it will be on them to protect their eyes if you have something flashy prepared. Well, I do have this, and he's going to pull out the mace and cast light on it. You go, alright, I know, but watch. And he goes, like, the... <laughs> He's doing the flashlight settings again, just deep, 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 deep. Just go. Now, I, I think it's a good part, Jigging. Of course, there are some people that can do it a little bit more than me. So but, the uh, second he takes it out, every guard in there is like they have their weapons trained on you. And uh, Oviren well, 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 well. is just leaning forward, watching with honestly, he looks entertained. Um, he's gonna he's like, <laughs> okay. You. Mark is going to see us go, oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I, I do not. I'm just this. And he does the flash his hands go, now, if we could get some people to maybe like, uh, he's going to look around as if, I mean, not as if, he's going to. Looking like, for a disco ball. He is going to dedicate to the lie. He's going to dedicate and find the places where there are like the best light fixtures. Go, I mean, if you can say hang some lights maybe right there right there eh, i mean with the window it might be all right but yeah if we we're not something... having the festival here we're having it oh. in the woods oh, i don't okay. invite people into my home willy-nilly you only came in because i figured kevin would well kevin's always entertaining so i figured he would have something interesting to say as per usual Oh, well, that, I mean, that has a whole other set of issues doing it in the woods, but uh, I'm sure I can work it out. With so, I am yeah, quite I'm certain sure. we can manage to have them strung up properly. Bring you up properly. That? that is, that is <laughs> a very <laughs> ominous phrase. Mean, yeah. no, Marcus is taking note of the phrase, go, yeah. I don't like uh -huh. it. Uh, so just to make sure I get everything, because I mean, I, who better than a mortal get other mortals, right? Uh, chefs, entertainers, uh, people who can do pretty lights, uh, and of course we all do them on low settings to accommodate for any uh, fay or any other mortal that may be a little bit sensitive to flashing lights. I've seen a couple times. I just I don't want to make sure everyone has a good time. Uh, we'll get the cookies. Uh, poor boy. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Are there any other <laughs> food requests that uh, you or maybe I'm just gonna turn to the guards. Uh, anyone want? I mean, I'm not the best when it comes to good, but I could cook pretty damn good in my opinion. I think. Uh, any any requests? Ihanala's cookies should be quite nice. Mm -hmm. Fairy cakes. It's a little on the nose, but it's, they're delicious. It's true. <laughs> uh, apparently, Selkie's now playing one of the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that 
please. That'd be great. <laughs> yes, uh, I suppose fairy cakes would also be doable. Ooh, I, I actually can do that. I, I will do that. Uh, all right, cakes and they're just like weird little cupcakes. Cakes <laughs> delicious. And... This is a hmm. You you don't want anything salty? I don't. I mean, uh, sweet is fine, but mm, he is already salty. <laughs> He's pretty salty. Yeah. You gotta have some salt to balance. A little better. It's full of staff. Very well. Salted pork would be good. If you have uh, any uh, fowl, fowl is always a good dish. Ooh, now you're pretty foul meat. All right, I. That sounds really good, actually. I could use some pork right now. But yeah, pork. Uh, the cakes that you want, I'll, I'll be sure to get best people on that. Don't worry. And the cookies. That is very limited, but all right. Oh, and fowl. Right, fowl. Fowl, pork, cookies, cake, nothing else. Final chances. We'll send you a list. We know Kevin's residence. Awesome. That sounds like a swell idea. He's going to look over to Kevin. He's like, it's just in this look of like, Can we Kevin's kind of looking like, what did you just rope us into? We were just going to have a party and now we have to cook. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he's. This is his first time dealing with a fake king. God, is he a king or a god at this point? Oh, yes. no. Oviran has always been a an, an archfey, which is basically a fey deity. Okay, archfey. This is his first time facing archfey. He's yeah. He he's will. Not he will. He will stand and tower over Marcus as he he bends down and offers his hand and he says, "I look One forward." Of them. To feasting at your party. Internally, internally, Marcus is screaming. Marcus is screaming internally at this. And he just. No! I knocked over my dice tower. <laughs> so upset. I know. He's just gonna just. He has to give him time. He's like, I'm excited as well. Wonderful. I think he passed. I think he wins. Then it sounds like we have a. Then it sounds like we have a deal. I will gather natives of this realm to celebrate. You will gather mortals of your realm, mm -hmm. and together we shall have one fucking feast. And he will offer it Marcus his hand to shake. Bending ick. over, because you are tiny compared to him. It gives yeah. me ick. You just I, I said will... they're going to have a fucking feast, and now you're saying he's bending over. <laughs> I mean, with the fey? With the fey? With the fey? Anyway, he's just, again, Marcus is internally screaming, and also, like, kind of thinking, oh, so this is how, this is how all the small... How he's you tall, so he's like, 20 people. This is how all the small people feel uh portals he's gonna like have a sort of realization and and just nod yep it's gonna be great and i'll be sure to bring those 20 mortals i look forward to it he still has his hand arm, arm reaching out for Oh, I mean, he he take he's taking it as he's oh, saying okay. this. Sorry, I should have. He's taking this. He's taking his hand as he says it. It's like it's like a toddler holding an adult's yeah, hand. Pretty much. <laughs> Very well. See yourselves out, Kevin. This might be one of your better ideas. I expect to see a Hanala there, and we will have much to talk about. 
He's going to follow Kevin's lead. Kevin will just kind of, uh, yes, well, it was a pleasure meeting you again, and um, we will see you at the feast three days from now. Don't be late. <laughs> I never am. Wonderful. All right. Have a good one. And uh, he will turn and start to fly out. Uh, a... Marcus will, of course, politely bow and then follow Kevin. I didn't catch your name, mortal. Oh. Uh, it's Marcus. A pleasure, Marcus. What? See oh, you at the fine. festival. It's fine. No, it's okay. You know, it's Mortals totally are fine. fine. Mortals are fine. It's just the f oh. first... Because he's With still mortal, technically mortals, a... you need the full name. Yeah. All both, both of them, all three, whatever. You need a full name. Only yep. with the fade, do you need a partial name. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Marcus does not like to use his last name because that brings him sh shame. So, Marcus. Marcus, that's all he'll know. Marcus of what? Uh, he's pushing it. Uh, <laughs> he's. <laughs> hold on. What was it? I'm trying to remember the town because I know I gave him. A town name. Like in the background. Hold on. Markham, get them. No, no, no. I got I got it. I got it. Nope. Twitch. Huh? Oh no. Uh oh, I thought I named it. I All right. Appreciate the offer, but No we don't. Not today. Wait, what happened in the Twitch? Don't worry about it. It's gone now. Oh. Okay. Am I missing one of my dice? Huh? Huh, that's so weird. I thought I gave the town a name. Okay, I'm just going to come up with Another it. Another there you are. Uh, okay, yeah, it's just going to be a Minecraft reference. Uh, Marcus of uh, Redstone, your majesty? Yep. Your honor. Marcus of Breadstick? Did I hear that right? No. Redstone. Redstone. Breadstone? No. Red. R Redstone. E oh, okay. Yes. Redstone. Marcus of Redstone. Marcus of Redstone. Marcus Redstone. It's a pleasure to meet you, Marcus Redstone. We will meet you again soon. I will meet you, see you again soon. He right. flashes <laughs> a Got him. infuriatingly winning smile. You know those those you know middle aged men that are way more handsome than they should be. It's that. <laughs> and Marcus is like, why did he? Ch okay, <laughs> like Marcus is like that's not my last. Like he's not saying that. He's just thinking to himself like, what the heck? Okay, don't question it. Don't yeah, question the guy. He's not questioning it. He's just getting out of here. <laughs> he's getting out of here with Kevin. All right, as you guys arrive at the entrance you see the kids booking it up the stairs um wait up the stairs I yeah thought they're, they're already in the what they're, they're coming they're back up the from the way they came oh okay right because right, right, they right, went right. down the stairs to go yeah um they look flustered and like they've been running oh uh you got, well, they you came guys... running up the stairs so uh, that's... fair enough gonna go bye our are they alone with the? Are they alone, like Marcus and everyone? Yeah. Like, okay. Did you guys get it? Uh, yeah, I know I get it. Got it. Um. Unfortunately. Dog on it. Just hang on. I <laughs> I screwed the pooch here. Just forgot the kids' names. <laughs> Yikes! I was literally just oh, rolling no. for them. Alright, so did uh Oh there we go. <clears throat> like, yeah, we got it. <clears throat> but Janorian tripped and you we lure the guards they're they're coming. We have to run. Okay, yeah, let's run. Uh, okay. Uh, make an athletics check. Oh, yeah. Marcus has a plus four in this. 
Oh, that is a 22. Wait, hold on. Do I have it as a proficiency? I don't think so. No, I don't. So, 22. 22. Okay. Uh, you guys all come running out. Ehanola is not with the kids. Um... Uh, the kids what? quickly inform you as you guys run that he kind of stayed behind to to draw the guards elsewhere, and he would re- rendezvous with you later. All right. All right. Um, as you guys, you just kind of um, briskly walk. Yes, yeah, a Gilderoy. Yes, he has a Gilderoy Lockhart type of vibe. It's annoying. Um. Kind of a mix of uh, Thranduil, uh, Legolas's father as well. That's just magnificently full of himself and overly beautiful. Um, oh, he's like, pretty. I hate it. Or like pretty much all members of Game of Thrones. They're pretty. They can they're get so it. Pretty. But they're cocky. Any, <laughs> any Lannisters. Yeah, basically. any Lannister. Any Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys well, get outside. Kind of just trying to look normal, like you no, know, nothing's going on. And as soon as you're outside, you bolt into the woods, and the guards are kind of like, "What the?" Um, before you're gone, before they have a time to figure out what's happened. Okay, when when I am alone with Kevin, I'm going to explain the realization that Marcus had to see if he can kind of outwit a Fay. Okay. Uh, you guys make it deeper into the woods, and you do find some time alone with with Kevin, um, and j- just Kevin and the kids, anyhow. Um, but the yeah. kids are trailing a few feet behind you, and they're just talking amongst themselves. Okay, I'm gonna go. All right, I know. I promise a lot to that thing. That, that, that also, holy shit. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, he said twenty mortals. Right? Yes. Mortals, as in beings that can die. Of natural causes. And what are you getting at? Uh, I I follow. I follow. Well, it just happens that uh, my realm is full of cute, cuddly little creatures that only live a certain to certain ages. It's sad. You can't, you can't keep a cat forever or a deer. And I think that because of their short life, they deserve to have a damn good party. <laughs> Kevin is beginning to crack up his stare face. We have wild animals here in the Feywilds. You know that, right? I know what rabbits and cats are. Um, well, are they? Wait, can they die here? Or are they like immortal? They have lifespans, but they, they they are of failure. They are they are different. They grow larger, but that is a good idea. If we could gather some from your world, that would fill the requirements just fine. It would. I love that idea. You are a genius. You are. Oh, I wish Ahanala was here right now. Oh my goodness, you are you are brilliant, Marcus. Thank you. I love you. All right, let's get um, let's get to work on that. Yes, uh, that is the one thing. How do they get here? Oh, don't worry about that. Uh, there are portals to your world that uh, we can we can access, and I will gather some. It's a good, All right. great idea. Remember, 20. We need 20 of them. I don't remember. I'm very good no- at numbers. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I deal with a lot of people. I'm sorry. I, I am sure you are very good. Uh, shit, well, look. I guess I can start cooking. Oh, no. I should cook at the festival. Wait, why why the hell am I worried about a festival? I need to get the people out of... Anyway, I I got a lot on my mind. Uh, Any sort of... Because... How do you think Overon is going to like my little uh, tidbit there? Based on your personal experience. Which one? Oh, you mean about the animals? Yes. He'll be annoyed, but not much he can do. You enter into a formal contract to provide 20 mortals with him to, for, to him. You will be fulfilling that contract. There is nothing he can do. So, I'm safe? Oh, yes, you'll be fine. 
And I assume the other people with me are going to be at your place to stand by, so we they are going to be safe as well. Oh, yes, definitely. Ooh, I am on a roll today. All right. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, I... As you guys walk off in, into the to the woods together discussing, uh, we we will tab over to <laughs> Abigail. You're waking up to see Sir Wellington about this close to your face <laughs> as he's going on something about Callie being taken. Today and it's not good. And oh, okay, yes. thank goodness you're you're what you're awake. Are you you're awake. Doing? Okay, um, that's and, way and... too close. What? Um... Yeah. Um, yeah. No, back away. <laughs> she sits up. Okay, so sorry. Then, 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 then they were really fast, and they were going, and they were they were taking her, and it was not good. And it was the big mommy lady, and it was no, 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 no. The fuck, big mommy lady? Who the fuck are you talking about? The the art the she's the art she's the arch fay lady who is the mom of I did I, you have no, a nightmare I, I like she <laughs> she likes I wish it was just that you can go back to sleep I'm not going to comfort no, you no 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna comfort you go to bed <laughs> All right, I bet we need to comfort Callie why Be- because she was taken I saw her. Can you get like Alberion or something? I already told him and he's off to chase, but I think this is something that might require more of us. Um it's it, it, and he's just like fidgeting with his hands and like uh, because it's not good. Yeah, at this point <laughs> at this point the rest of your party is starting to wake up. Both of Valberion's um, uh, apprentices are waking up. Uh, Micah's ex-girlfriend is waking up. Um, no! Hey! <laughs> stop it. Whatever her name is, it doesn't stop matter. Stop it, Markham. Um, Markham, stop it. But yeah, everyone else is awake at this point. What did she do? Why is she ex girlfriend now? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> they just have it reunited. Okay. It, they just, they're just separated at this time. Just by distance. They're separated. Just by distance. Only. That's it. It's not like there's going to be anything that gets in the way of that. And, oh, and definitely not. Micah's current condition. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything is awesome. So, Adrian is chasing this. This. What did you call her? What's her name again, Mark? Mark. What's her Uh, name again? Now I need to pull her up. Beep. This mommy thing. Beep, buddy, boop, (laughs) but. Who's mommy? Who's mommy? (laughs) The mommy thing. Um. (laughs) Alfdeen, Alfdeen the bewitching. Hang on, I will tag. You. Marcus only has one. Uh, 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 it's 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 Alfdeen the bewitching. Does that tell a meal anything? Roll a religion check. Okay. Let's see how knowledgeable. Where is religion? There we go. Mm. Oh yeah, that mommy. Yep, I remember. We remember her. Oh, I do. Yep, I I let her pick me up. Anyway, (laughs) where is she? Twenty-two. Much better. Twenty-two. Alfdeen the Bewitching is a powerful archfey and one of the, I want to say it's ten or so, um, fey gods that rule over, um, uh, that rule over Phalia. (laughs) 
Excuse me. Uh, she is very powerful, known for her ability to seduce just about anyone. And... It is, me, mommy. it is an oddity that she is here, A, on this plane, B, here of all places. And also carrying Callie, probably. Yeah, what it's she okay. would want Everyone to do a with light. a mortal teenager is really weird. Yeah, let's be honest. Callie's not complaining at all about overall <laughs> about this part. A little confused. All you but see, you know. To be fair, you're at chest height. That's all you see. Hell Yeah. Yeah, best okay. place. <laughs> See, yeah. Like I said, Callie's not complaining at all about this nope. right now. Callie is no longer questioning. Neither, she is affirmative. Neither is Selkie, apparently. <laughs> no, Selkie's fine. <laughs> Selkie's doing great. Uh, like I said, mommy? What? Mommy? <laughs> sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Fuck that shit. Why do you want us to go after that arch fate? I'm trying. Sorry, but but do, do, do you not care? Do you not care about about Kelly? No. Well. Wow. To... Wow. <laughs> wow. Listen, I'm supposed to be going after my sister. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's going to the place where your sister is. <laughs> Roll a friggin' deception yeah, check. Are you actually <laughs> trying to convince her of that? <laughs> Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't know whether yeah, she is or not. But he's like, I bet that like all these evil people are going to one place. <laughs> the only people. place they seem to go. They're having like evil con over here. The, the place that you guys <laughs> just left. <laughs> evil con. We didn't. Seven, we seven, didn't, we didn't explore all here. that much, no, so that we don't true. know. Wait, 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 wait! It's villain con. It's villain con from the minions movie. Oh, that's what's happening. No, no we're not going to circle back around. No the minions. more minions. No, it's, <laughs> it's evil con seventeen seven fifty. Right? I had to. I had to. I'm sorry. I had to. Okay, well, seventeen plus a plus on twenty four to deception. Am I supposed to do insight? Yeah, yeah. inside yeah, beat twenty four. There's no yep. fucking way. Beat a twenty four with no insight. Way. That's sixteen. <laughs> It's not yeah. bad for her, actually. It's actually you know, not that's bad. not bad for her. That's not bad you, for her. You she may be shit. suspicious. You may be suspicious if she would be suspicious. I get to 24. I get a 16. I get to 24. Hey, she gets to be... <laughs> you may be suspicious, but maybe he just knows something, and, you know, this could be where he's holding up. It's a large, yeah. gothic-looking castle. Maybe he's hiding up there. No, they, 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 hold on. She knows exactly where Histon is. Oh, crap. You're right. I forgot she did the scrying. <laughs> Wait a minute. She was literally part of the evil yeah, demon she was summoning trying to process. Go there. She knows exactly where no, he is. I forgot that she scried on where he was. That <laughs> Oh, yeah. She was definitely part of the circle, too. Yeah. She definitely got the invite to evil build... con. <laughs> yeah, she got the invite and was like, nah. I, Fuck you guys. I forgot well, about that. But... Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, how does you that know work? he's full of shit, but if I have to, he, cause he's I... being so convincing that if you didn't know, I would have believed it. <laughs> you would have believed him. <laughs> uh, he, 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 he's because he's like, he doesn't honestly know, but he's like, there, there's it's plausible. Yeah. There's a chance. It's, pl it's plausible. All these other. There's nothing to say that they're not. Exactly. I believe my own bullshit here. That right. would have been very convincing if I had not just announced where he was yesterday. Is she with him? He's over there. And she points by the mountains where she pointed <laughs> to yesterday. Oh, That's where she's so, going. so so your so your sister's with with the old dude. Yes. 
with the old. Oh, version. I I didn't realize that. I forgot. I'm sorry. Listen, if Alberian, if I if chasing... I had I did, if I had realized that. Well, I mean, we need Alberian to go there anyways, and he's off. So you want if you want to get to your sister quicker, then maybe we should oh, go help no. Alberian and get Callie, and then and then you know what? Maybe if we're all together, he won't have to come back here, and we can just escape all together real quick, and it will be quicker and safer anyways. Oh, yeah, let's go just go get Alberion, get Gally, whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Okay, come on, come on, come on. He starts like pulling on Abigail, like to try, like he grabs her arm, trying to like. Uh, pull you do her not arm. need to do that. I can get up by myself perfectly fine. <laughs> Dolores is just going to go, okay, well, everyone just calm down. We'll go there. We will get. We'll see. We'll get Callie back, and we'll move on. Maybe we can. Maybe we can talk with her. Maybe we can reason or something. Callie is like sixteen. We can't reason with them. <laughs> oh, Callie's the one instigating this. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Out of character, just because I I don't know I wasn't here when some of this stuff happened. Uh, is, is Abigail and Dolores aware of their connection via Micah? Yeah, they yes. are. I, think so, yeah. I don't think Abigail. Oh yeah, no, Abigail doesn't know that they dated. Oh yeah, vaguely. Well, she knows Dolores, they're close. Dolores, like, vaguely, yeah, she oh, didn't play yeah. it. Oh, yeah, Dolores and didn't just, play And they were roommates. It's, they're roommates, yeah. yeah. She That's knows what they, Abigail she thinks. They're they roommates. Were roommates. Yeah. <laughs> no, Dolores yeah. said something, and then Abigail was like, why did you say that first, you idiot? Oh, I forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's right. That's right. Uh, as of recently, Abigail now knows. Um, yeah, after just, she died. Just what level of roommates they were. They were, um, <laughs> they were roommates. It was oh. a one bedroom flat. Yeah. They, were really histor- nice. they were historical roommates, guys. Come on. <laughs> right. They were historically they roommates. They wrote love letters to each other. And they're totally platonic. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were sharing rats. They were sharing rats. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anywho. Oh. Oh, my brain reset there. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Cheer the rats. Cheer all the rats. Cheer all the rats, Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm going to need a stealth you check for those rats? who are pursuing after Callie. Callie doesn't need a stealth check. She's toast. Um. No, she's a charm. Oh no. No, she's charmed right now. <laughs> what? Nothing. Did you uh, just not one? Maybe. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. We have a Nat 20 and a Nat 1 this session. Oh no. We're going Amazing. Full circle. She, right, her so heart is in it, I promise. <laughs> As yeah. you can tell. The what? <laughs> Not give I got a, shit a, I got a 19 total. You got a 19 oh, no. total. Okay. Oh, no. Sir Wellington, seven total that one. Sir Wellington, you are hidden. Um, as you guys go, you're working on, you know, sneaking through. Um, these these elves and Sir Wellington, they don't have any problem navigating in the dark. Abigail has forgotten that she's blind in the dark now and puts her foot in a pool of lava and jumps back with a shriek of pain. Um, lava lights up though. Wait, wait. <laughs> Lava's a light source. It's it's like yeah. that. It's True. that. It's not. It's that molten lava where it started to cool, but it's still soft oh, it's enough still that when you put your hand foot bit? in, yeah. So when when you put your foot in, it's not hard. It just into it, and then it's suddenly really hot. Not so hot that it melts the skin off, but uh, it, your your shoe definitely took some damage. Okay. So yeah, it's it's more of like when you when you touch it's when you go outside and you step on a hot rock by accident in the middle of summer in Florida. Can't relate. Nope. Selkie can. Maybe. Unless you've never gone outside barefoot in summer. I exist barefoot. Ow. That, that that's fall uh, in the I, summer I just is made not my fun. Foot hurt. Yeah, I exist barefoot. I'm practically a hobbit. 
too tall. I mean, I got, I got, <laughs> You're a tall I got hair on my feet like a hobbit. Anywho. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> the, uh, so, the um, game. yeah, uh, the goddess doesn't seem to react, so as far as you know, you're still good. Oh, boy. Well, oh, wait, I just yelled out, and she doesn't react. How close are we to her? We're not you're about 100 close. yards behind. We're not that close. Because... Alberian went after I was already she was already far away and then I went and got Alberian Alberian's going after and then I went and got you and I had to wake you up so that was a good like another 10 minutes probably so we're, yeah, but we're probably it's... been catching up <laughs> yeah you're yeah catch you're a ways uh, behind her we're a good long ways we're like three rounds behind at least I, I don't believe she didn't hear me <laughs> I really don't yeah. That's one of those player things where it's like, I know she heard me, but the character's like, Well, no. yeah, but Abigail. Yeah, but we're also dealing with you you're, you're dealing with an arch fae who probably goes, I don't care if there's people uh, because fair. I can take them all out. She could yeah, snap fair, her fingers it... and all of a sudden there's a bunch of rabbits. Yeah, but oh, then. No. Wow, magic is weird. Is the best approach to like go back to sneaking because you're obviously trying to sneak. Is the best approach to be just sneaking. be like. Um, yeah, if you but if you're sneaky, did she just you follow? Her. It's Abigail's call. What does stop she want to do? Stop <laughs> Abigail's just gonna go to the very back of the line and be like, "I'm just gonna walk slow." Well, no, she's just gonna be like aside from the sneakers. Just give up so, on the sneaking. So bit. you, everyone's just sneaking after she screams. Abigail just strolls towards the castle boldly. <laughs> well, yeah, because I feel like it's less insulting to to go. To just do that than to try and sneak again. Plus, if anything, now they have better cover. Okay. It would be so insulting if, Fair like, enough. you clearly broke your cover and then sh you know she knows you're there and you know she knows you're there and you just go back to sneaking. Like, come on. Okay. I mean, eh. I mean, at least she's honest about it, I guess. So, like, hey, Fair I enough. Up. All oh, right. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Abigail's, yeah, Abigail's solid code of just. This is what it is. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So you guys are, Sir Wellington, you're continuing to sneak with the others? If I feel like like I still have cover and that I'm not noticed, then you don't, yes, you don't I'm going to notice. You don't have any way of really telling, but you're pretty sure you haven't been noticed. Uh, then yes, I will keep all right. sneaking. The apprentices along. will also sneak. Dolores will walk up uh, side by side with Abigail. No. <laughs> okay. Just giving you some some support. Um, as you guys near there, um, Callie up ahead, um, mm. she gets inside and she shuts the door behind her and she kind of holds you up and goes, and now, oh wait, didn't she cast hold person on you or something? I mean, she did, but it would probably have worn off by now, right? Yes. Yeah, it and, would have by this but, but that was enough to just hold her by the scruff. That's true, yeah. yeah you're just being held by the scruff. She goes, I'm a cat. It seems you I'm have friends. I'm a friend. kid cat. She's got, yeah. It seems you have friends coming. <laughs> Phrasing. Mm, I don't know. Not really well versed in the friends department. Especially the girlfriends department. <laughs> the girlfriends Ouch. I'm sure of that. Uh can I get a wisdom save from Callie? Uh oh. Sure. I'm pretty wise. Sixteen. <laughs> Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty? Dirty is the dirtiest, dirtiest, sluttiest of toys. All right. Awesome. You feel <laughs> fey magic attempt to take hold of you, and you kind of shrug it off. She goes, hmm. Very interesting. She snaps her fingers, and a large jar appears oh, not again. beneath you, and she'll oh, drop no. you in. Not again! <laughs> Stop it with the jars! And with the snap of her fingers, it begins to kind of hover and Our just floats along behind her. Since Medusa are gone. Can I can I give the, the jar a little tappity tap? Sure. <laughs> What's it made out of? 
It appears to be made out of... Uh, actually, roll Arcana for me. Arcana? Oh, I'm pretty good at Arcana. Hey, look at your boy. Look at your boy with a plus six. Nice. And another dirty 20. That's a 14. Uh, it appears to be... It looks like glass. <laughs> it feels like glass, but it's some sort of summoned material. It is not actually glass. It is something... It is like a magical barrier. The whole thing is Can made I out of magic. still attempt to eat it? You may attempt to do so. <laughs> Roll oh, a no. constitution saving throw for me. <laughs> this, is gonna be like, this is going to be like the kid getting into the parents' pot brownies. That is right. what's going to happen. <laughs> Listen, she eats glass. That's her job. She shouldn't eat these, this, this glass. This is just a little extra spicy. Uh, con save? Yep. Why is it uh, spicy? Why is it spicy? It's hmm. a 15. 15. Uh, yeah. you feel high as a kite. <laughs> I knew mm. it. <laughs> high as a kite, your reflexes are slowed, you're rather sluggish, you have disadvantage on all checks. Cool. And saves. Cool. The next thing we know, Callie's just gonna start, like, taking chunks of, like, sl like melting it and then, like, putting it in her, like, pocket for later. <laughs> right. Like this, I'm a pothead now, this, yeah. Oh, oh, this you gotta try this shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you come to Marcus, eat it. No. Oh, I'm like, eat it. Mar Mar I, I'm, I'm human. I can't eat glass. Eat it. Ooh. Now we're sitting in the jar. All right. So as you're vibing there, <laughs> she she opens the door right as Dolores and Abigail get up to it, and she just kind of she 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 has you know Abigail floating in this large magical barrier prison essentially that's hovering. Nope, off Callie, her. not Abigail. Sorry. Abigail. She is Callie floating. Um, the names in it. Oh, I'm getting all the names wrong. And she looks at Abigail and Dolores and goes, "What business have you here?" to come get her. Indeed. Hi. 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 Glass stays funny. My question is, where's Albarian in all this? Still sneaking, he's, I think. No, he's invisible somewhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. Makes sense. She raises an eyebrow and goes, very well, come in. She will step to the side and gesture for you to enter the castle. Dolores will also go. And she Abigail's will... used to being welcomed, having to be welcomed in. Right. She will <laughs> close the door behind it's her. It's a new experience. Right. <laughs> Um, Sir Wellington, you and the two apprentices, you arrive on the outside and the door is locked. What would you like to do? Oh yeah, all right. Do you, do you guys want to want to do this as part of your training, or do I need to take it because I I, I obviously so much better at magic. Um, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What what are we attempting to do here? I I don't. Understand. You need to open the door. Of course. <laughs> well, I can try. And okay. he will attempt to open so, it. So, so do do you do, do you need to put your hand out like that, and then you go, you got to, you got to like read, you got to read the things, and you got to go, okay, and uh, say, say, say the words, and and then the door. He does not will. succeed. It kind of like it's like <clears throat> it's like watching a Jedi Padawan attempt to open a, a door. It's just it's trying. You can kind of hear the gears like, and then it's it's just not. Oh, okay. So do, do do he looks at the other one? Do you want to try, or do you both want to be shown up by a six year old? I'll <laughs> I'll give it a try. We're going up against an Arch Fey here. 
Yeah, it's a door. That that's not an arch fade. That's a nope, door. No, he does even worse. Oh damn! <laughs> no, this one is just a door, guys. <laughs> Just, it's just a door. door. I, 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 there's there's Talk a bit of an arch at the angle. top. There's a bit of an arch at the top, but it's a, like an arch door, not an arch fade. Well. So, <laughs> so maybe. So. <laughs> okay, so this is this is how you do it. He's gonna like, and he goes, da, and he's gonna cast knock. Okay, hang on. Let me read how knock works. It's choose an object you can see within range. The object can be a door, box, chest, a set of mechanical, a padlock, or another object that contains a mundane or magical means that prevents access. A target that is held shut by a mundane lock or a struck barred becomes unlocked, unstuck, unbarred. If the object has multiple locks, only one of them is unlocked. If you choose a target that is held shut with an arcane lock, that spell is suspended for 10 minutes during which time the target can be opened and shut normally. All right, give me a roll with your spellcasting <clears throat> modifier. With my spellcasting modifier. Okay. Like like how I would do like a spell attack or Yeah, like, like... how you would do like a spell attack. It's it's like if you were trying to upcast to spell uh it's like if you're trying to upcast counter spell essentially. Uh, well, 25. 25. As soon as you reach out, you start to, to work your magic and you realize this isn't held by something mundane. This Archfey put some sort of spell on the doors she left to keep it shut. And as you focus, it's, it's hard. But you just barely <sighs> suppress the arcane lock and the door appears to... It doesn't swing open, but you feel you feel the magic dissipate, and you hear something on the inside. Yeah. Also, when I cast knock, an a, a loud audible knock that can be heard from three hundred feet away is like it's like knock, dong, knock, dong, knock, dong, knock, dong, 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 dong. <laughs> it's like dong, 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 dong. It's the it's the Jehovah's Witnesses knocking. <laughs> Have have you heard of our Lord and Savior Kevin? He makes cookies. Kevin. <laughs> to be fair, I'd go for a savior that makes cookies. Kevin. I would too. Tom. All right. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Loki? Yes. 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 Preach Correct. of Loki. So you can now, you know they they go. Okay. And the, the apprentice is like, push the doors open. See, how does it feel to know that a six year old did that better? Wow. One of them just looks like he goes, Yeah, a six year old decked out in magic apparel galore. If I had as much magic stuff as you're wearing, I could probably do it too. Oh, so that, 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 you want to you wanna hold all this stuff and I'll just have my book right here next time? Yeah, why not? It's not a bad idea. Okay. Hey, st don't antagonize him, all right? Good grief. It's just get in, get out, okay? Comparion's got to be in here somewhere. Just find our master, find his friends, and just, just be done with it. The other one's like, ah, fine. <laughs> so. Okay. Let's go. Abigail, are you just following... Alfdeen? That might not be a good idea. I mean, not if she like walks off a cliff, but yeah. No, she's just going up the stairs. Okay, yeah. She glances back. She goes, so why are you following me? Uh, you said <laughs> to... I... I'm uh... pointing for that one so I can get Hi. on with my business. You came for me? More that's pretty cool. <laughs> you, have you, you, um. The, does Cali recognize long. Abigail? Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's been like what three years? Hmm. No, it, it's not it, been that long. It's been no, maybe it's a couple been a of months. No, but just for the from the resurrection. Yeah. 
because she looks very different. My and then, yeah, uh, also so as, in like super happy clothing. Yeah, right? yeah. that is true. She's, She's in yellow pink and, and pink. yellow. She's and you don't recognize Dolores at all. Um, I don't. I don't think Callie ever met Dolores. No, she was with your party that washed up on shore that first night, but you never spoke. He was murdered pretty quickly. Yep. <laughs> She was one of the first to go, R.I.P. Oh, sorry, girl. Hey, this might be a really bad time, but I'm kind of hungry. Do you have any, like, oh, do you have any stained glass? Those taste delicious. Only thing she might have had was a cookie, but I'm pretty sure she ate it because it tastes really good. Are she talking to Abigail or to? Yes, she's oh. just talking at this. Just you ever been around high people? They don't talk to people. They no, just talk. Right. They just talk. <laughs> yeah. So as she continues up the stairs, she's going all the way up to the tower. That um. Oh, if she's high. She definitely wouldn't realize that's Abigail. No, that's true. It's just two strange women following them right now. Um, <laughs> as, as as you guys get to the top of the tower, this is the same room where Marcus faced off with the Archdevil. Not that Abigail would know that. Callie would if she wasn't high as a kite I'm right serious. now. Um, oh, I, Vinny, I, listen, high does not mean that you're in, like, you don't remember things. Oh, yeah, Marcus. Fair, enough. fair enough. Okay, fine. <laughs> It's a very Marco, beautiful. When was the room. last time you got high? Never. All right. Fine. I've only it's only Never happened once drunk. for me, and it was really unfortunate. Never got high not, in my life. I, nothing was properly explained, and I had just had two shots of tequila, and I got extremely oh. crossfaded. Oh, crossfaded! Oh, oh, that sucked. I don't, that was not fun. I don't get crossfaded, but I did. I don't smoke, but I do eat. A bitch fat. All right. I had uh rice crispy treats made out of like out of fruit out of fruity pebbles, and there happened to be some specialness in the butter, and it was delicious. And they didn't tell me you were only supposed to eat like a quarter of it, oh, I no. ate, like half before they stopped me. Oh no! And I was <clears throat> yeah. Loaded. I don't. I, I. I. It was a little like cube, like uh what you can call it gummy and i don't mm -hmm. know if i should have just had like a small amount but i had the whole thing yeah yeah so Oops. anyways yep that'll do it uh yeah so as you get up there um can here. i get a perception check from so sir wellington you will be sneaking up behind them as well um can i get a perception check from all three of you Is my stealth still good? Ah, yeah. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Okay. They not one. 19. Oh. Shitty. I'm That's too right. high. <laughs> I'm not too high. You can't focus. You're like... Oh. 18 plus one. It's that high of like your eyes are mostly closed. Okay. Oh, this Damn. is space shit too. So I'm extra high. Mm -hmm. That is, this is true. Like, this isn't even just. This even isn't even just. I I don't know what I can say on Twitch and not get like banned immediately. Uh, this isn't. This isn't Mary Jane. This this is also mixed in with uh, a bit of a bit of bit of a toadstool circle. If you catch my drift. It's <laughs> you're in trouble, is what it is. You're. Well, yep. Um, we're gonna start. We're gonna start smelling colors here in a second. And seeing time, seeing through time, smelling colors, seeing time. Yeah, basically, basically. Um, yeah. As you get Marcus, up there, your horrible dad, your child is separated from you and doing drugs. How dare you? <laughs> hey, I cannot control what they do. Your teenage when I'm not daughter. There. <laughs> Because I'm just a teenage daughter. <laughs> to be fair, Marcus, like he'd be kind of mad at first, but then you're like, oh, "All right, let's just get you all better. It's gonna be terrible." What is? Calm down. You're gonna be you're gonna be my dad whenever I got my first hangover and I called him crying. Yeah, 
That's going to be Marcus. <laughs> How do I make it stop? <laughs> go to bed. Uh, you just got to go to <sighs> Our internet has been weird here lately. The entire city's internet has been weird lately. Oh, once again, all of you all have switched positions. Oh, no. Okay, here we go again. Oh, boy. I'm perfect. I'm on great. On the road again. I can't wait to be on the road again. You're still fine. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm everyone's fixed now. Sorry, my internet just went kapooey on me. Uh, just straight up died. Um, where do we leave off? Okay, so as you guys got there, who rolled over Allie 15? Pie. Who rolled over 15? For perception. So uh, oh. Abigail. Both of you. Okay. Um, as you get up there, the first thing you notice is I was trying to find her name, and eh, I can't find it. Um, Deidre. Deidre. Deidre is oh. out. Deidre is out on the balcony standing. Um, just got. Oh, well, actually, Abigail and Sir Wellington wouldn't know who she is. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have no there's, clue who Deidre is. So there's, oh, a, there's a young tiefling with wings, dark gray skin, purplish gray skin, just standing catatonically looking out over the balcony. In one of my campaigns, there's a Deidre, but she was a drow. Hmm. Mm. Um, you worship Saluna. Alf Dean kind of gets out, walks out into the balcony. And she kind of brings you in front. And she goes, "You shouldn't have eaten that." And she'll snap her fingers, and the the magical barrier will solidify to glass, as will Kelly. And we'll just she'll just let it drop. And when it hits the balcony, it shatters, as does Kelly for a second. You think, and then Kelly's just kneeling there in a field of broken glass, completely sober again. It was a very trippy experience for a split second there. You shattered the high out of you. Literally, literally. <laughs> shattered the high <laughs> out. Whoa. It was like when you go on, like, you know, like like you're going on the crazy loop-de-loops of, of a... Uh, one of roller those coaster. uh, roller coasters, and then it does that sudden zero gravity drop. It's kind of what it and felt then your like. Your stomach kind of comes up. Yeah, yeah. Those that's, are, those that's are not fun. That's what you feel like right now. After after her just solidifying all the magic that she had summoned into solid glass, which included you since you ate it, and then shattered it, which included blasting it out of you, and now all of a sudden you're just sitting there kneeling in front of your ex girlfriend. Hey, we were never official. <laughs> You kiss. I have proof. I have proof of you in the chat calling her Callie's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I also I also called uh, Dahlia my girlfriend, but that never became okay. official either. Yeah, the Let's chat be honest. Is... Let's be yeah, honest. Have... Selkie's just a simp for any female. That is true. I'm just a simp period. period. <laughs> just no. a simp in general. Listen, you give no. me a hot character, I'm gonna I'm gonna simp after them, regardless of I introduce the is. thought. The thought of a priestly character and Selkie simps over them. Yep. He's a little scary. I like it. So, oh my God. Uh, so I'm guessing you love Asterian. Actually, no. I'm not an Asterian girly. I am more of a Will girly. I Honestly, like him no I want to break him. Will. <laughs> mm. Anyway. <laughs> he knows. Mm. <laughs> I like I like the good boys. I'm sorry. 
Uh, Actually, to be completely honest, I'm a Carlac and a Halston girly. I like him big. I like him bulky. Carlac. I need to play Any this horror. game. We'll talk about this game later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Halston. Callie, mm, you I'm are better. you are suddenly sobered, but you feel very queasy. In front of you is Deidre just looking with this look of, of pained terror on her face out into the middle distance. Um, over to your right, you see these two strange women you don't recognize. One appears to be an elf, one appears to be human. A lot of, okay. Give what? me an intelligence check. Cool. How smart is Callie? That is a good question. <laughs> pretty, pretty smart. We're pretty well balanced, and except for the charisma. That's a, that's a fault. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. The charisma well, is Well, luckily, unfortunate. you got banished before you had to lie to an archfey. <laughs> That that intelligence is is uh, a five. A five. Yeah. You're just disoriented. I don't know what's going on. You don't who know these who people these are. people are. You don't know what's going on. I don't know where I am. I know who that high. is. I have nothing else. You were high. Now you're not high. I was glass. I was dead. Was I dead? No. You're you alive. did have this split second where you felt like you shattered and you saw like everything from a thousand different perspectives. And then you were just you on the ground again. Okay, that was the weirdest. Okay. What's going on? You broke I'm confused. my daughter. Fix her. I don't recall doing such things. Give me another intelligence check. Okay. Better. 17. As you look up at Deidre, you realize she's in the same pose she was in when you last spoke to her. Oh. You told her to stay put. Give me a religion check. Let's see how much she remembers from her time in the monastery. How much she remembers of her time in the monastery? Oh, I, I just realized. The monastery? Shit. I just realized. I just realized it. Uh, oh, no. 21. You are well aware that if you use a the name of a fae and give them an order, they are compelled to obey until told otherwise. You recall her mentioning her father was an archdevil. This archdevil must be arch... her mother. Archdevil and an archfae got it on. Oh, let's see the arches. Which means, because Dietrich's half fae, when Callie told her, to shut up and stay put. She's been here catatonically since because you have not told her otherwise, and she bombed her save. Oh, oh it was partial name. No, you had her. I... Oh, yeah, I don't know her last name. name. It was yep, it was her partial yeah, so name. Just yeah. partial name. Yeah. Even still, she rolled really poorly. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say that's still, that's a lower DC, but you should depending on how poorly it was. It was I think it was yeah. below an eight. <laughs> Oh, geez. Yeah, DC DC for one one part of the name is like 15. Yeah, oh, 15. That sounds about right. Yeah. That I think it goes well. I think it goes 15 18 25. I think so. But uh, I don't well, remember. Like, I have it I have it pinned in a chat somewhere. Or 15 20 25. Something, something like that. that. Something like that. Either way. Oh no. Oh. So Okay. And I know this woman who kidnapped me, right? You are familiar with her from lore, yeah. This yeah. is Alfdine the Bewitching, the great seducer of the Fey Realm. Got it. Archfey. Also, that time when you felt compelled to obey Deidre 
when she was telling you to do stuff in the castle. You gave oh, yeah, her your weird. full name, and it's starting to piece together now how she was able to do that. Oh. I mean, technically, Callie's not her full name. No, but she mentioned her full name. No, Marcus said her full name. Marcus doesn't know her full name. Someone said her full name in... in... Someone called her Kalamaya in... Deidre's press. Tell my her full name. Her full name. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know where you keep getting this assumption that Kalamaya is was. her name. It's not. Well, I recall someone. I, I have a note on it, but I guess I don't know. <laughs> it was months ago, okay? I just have a I, note that I'm said. I'm totally on board with this, <laughs> but you know me. I'm a bitch for not revealing my name. It's almost That's like I'm fake. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. <laughs> None of my characters have full names. None of you know them. <laughs> true it's a problem it's a quirk we all have our thing right that is true that is true either so. way there was some sort of fame magic involved you're starting to piece together um, yeah but it wasn't it wasn't compelled by my name no listen callie's kind of dumb and, and gay so like <laughs> pretty lady whatever right <laughs> whatever you want mama <laughs> oh so I, I did this. And you're her. Got it. Caught up now. Deidre, you don't have to stay still anymore. She like, huh. <sighs> And she just, like, quietly stares at you. <laughs> you want to let her talk as well? Does Sir Wellington say that? <laughs> oh, Sir Wellington just... doesn't know what's going on. Oh, he doesn't fair. know who this I... is. <laughs> that's true. I'm just more saying that because I don't oh. know if Selkie realized that. Yeah, once, like she, once she gathers has. these... Yeah, he, once... I just don't know... If... Does it? Callie's not the smartest. She doesn't work with Faye often. <laughs> Deidre is just um, literally glaring at her, pointing to her mouth. Okay, you can talk now, too. Thanks. Didn't realize that was a a, a thing that could have happened. It's fine. Thanks for coming back to fix it. I didn't really have a choice. Well then, thanks, Mom. Alphine will kind of shrug. <laughs> Very gracefully. I don't know what a graceful shrug looks like. <laughs> just, I don't know. Gracious she's just pretty and elegant. She's hot. I don't know. Yeah. Curl she's falls a, off her shoulder. A... <laughs> <laughs> One of her hair. Yeah. Like a little strand of her hair just falls off and just like yeah. flutters for a little bit. <laughs> well, now we know what Naz and Sophie are thinking about. What? Okay. What do you want? Excuse you? <laughs> don't worry. I'm thinking about it too. We're gay. Just trying to figure Excuse. out what y'all are thinking about. Um, so. A graceful shrug as this one. Oh, shrug. oh, okay. Don't come at me. I thought there was some hidden meaning that went over my head there. No. no. I'm describing a graceful shrug. Trust me, when we have hidden meaning, we do not intend to. It's just you don't. You're, you're, I can never tell boy. when someone has said you're sweet boy, <laughs> and so, usually, usually accompanied by me, Matt, and Ian just giggling. Right? Yeah, true. That's oh, good point. Uh, Ian's <laughs> usually instigator too. <laughs> usually, Ian's more yeah. blunt about it. I can catch it when Ian's doing it. He gets this look in his eye that just has the same vibe as when Sir Wellington's about to start a prank. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the? 
<laughs> what just happened? <laughs> He's been attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I accidentally kicked the uh the computer stand and the the, the camera just all go whoop but I'm like oh no <laughs> <laughs> So if anyone watching this has issues with vertigo, rest in peace. So sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So yeah. Um She uh Elfteen looks down at, at Kelly, just arms crossed motherly i'm not gonna say that um fire in her eyes and she goes so you want to explain yourself and why you treated my daughter so abysmally to be fair ma'am your your daughter's got hands and she throws them often um, I didn't know that was going. Did you stop her foot indignantly, indignantly and goes, "I do not." You started it. I was under the assumption that everything was going to be fine, and you were going to sacrifice my friend to your dad. I was not going you were to gonna sacrifice leave. him. I was simply letting him buy some time for us to get you uh. out of there, and then I was going to get him out of there. Like, your dad was not immediately going to squish Marcus. Well, I thought he could hold his own. He had that celestial magic shit. I didn't know he could banish my dad, or else I wouldn't have sent him up there. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That was actually kind of cool. I just thought he would be (laughs) able to hold his own until I could get up there. You sent him now alone. kiss and make it make up. He would have been fine. He clearly <laughs> was more than fine than more fine than I was expecting. But I didn't know that. For all I knew, you were going to send him to like. I didn't have time to explain. Something, anything. Well, I'm sorry. Next time a powerful arch devil comes knocking on our door, I'll make sure I explain the plan. Before I enact it. I was just trying to keep you safe, okay? And, hmm. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> picturing Sir just... Wellington just peering over <laughs> bed like, mwah, mwah. <laughs> the back, just... he's, he's got that perspective where in each hand it looks like it's their head. And he's like, mwah. Mwah. <laughs> 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 no keys. He's like, I've I've seen how Marcus gets over his arguments. I've seen how Kieran gets over his arguments. Now get over yours. <laughs> Wait, has Marcus ever had an argument? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't he know. He calls her mommy, and then everything is fine. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's true. Bo- boy's kind of whipped. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's why she was concerned for your well-being whenever. Girlfriend was like, hey, go fight my dad. It's like, wait, 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 soft boy. <laughs> well, to be fair, he didn't know he was going to fight her dad. I'm like, wait, what? The soft boy. Hmm. But wait, how does how does the Archfey react to like, wait, someone just banished my husband or lover, partner, something like that? Whatever you are. Whatever they are. Um. Yeah, I'm Sorry that I didn't trust you. It's fine. It's... Is it? Having having him as my dad was always challenging anyhow. And <sighs> I, I guess I should have expected someone like you to not trust me because of who my dad is. Everyone else here is the same way. It's not that I don't trust you. It's I don't... I didn't know what was going on. Well, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I I... To be fair, if you had a terrifying dad that suddenly showed up when he wasn't supposed to be home for another week, and you had a split-second decision to decide how to get your... She kind of like 
turns a deep purple and like looks down. Yeah. Get your person to safety. I mean, I just kind of panicked. You can see, you see Callie's hair turned a little bit more red rather than becoming more blue when she's mad. Is she comes a little more red? She starts she's cooling down. Hmm. Looks like they're both blushing from Sir Wellington's mm. perspective. Mm hmm. Yeah. The tail's wagging. I should have the tail wag. wag. Her tail's wagging too. It's You're like a couple wang. of puppy dogs that are Sir starting Wellington to make up. just lean, <laughs> leans over to the apprentice is like, let's go. I, I thought we were supposed to be saving them. Yeah, I, I'm not but sure I, they need I, any saving. <laughs> 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 they're, they're in Raptor. <laughs> this is like the weirdest soap opera there ever. Right? <laughs> <They're> like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry my adopted it? dad banished your actual dad. I'm so what, sorry. What what do, what do we do? It's real. This is a little awkward. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we can't just sneak back out. Could we? I don't know what happens. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shut your pie holes, both of you. I want to see how this turns out. <laughs> <laughs> the one is so interested in the drama. Just like, wait a minute. Right? <laughs> this is the best shit I've seen in a while. Did I just say shut your pie holes? Yes, you did. That's hilarious. You did. <laughs> what year is it? I don't know. <laughs> Any whore. Yep. Uh, what is Abigail doing through all this? Waiting. She's watching Waiting. awkward lesbian teenagers. Yeah. Um, Flashbacks um, to Micah. This, as 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 <laughs> as this. As Sir Wellington sees like the like thing like coming to a close, um, because he just doesn't know what else to do, he's gonna like quietly like cast pre prestidigitation and have like uh soft uh music start playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is like, "The fuck is that? <laughs> is this you? Is this something you Not do?" Not me. Mom? Oh, it's not me. It's one of her friends. They're in around here somewhere. <laughs> I have friends? They're just good at hiding. Well, yes, these two came to rescue you, and she points at Abigail and Dolores. They didn't do anything. <laughs> and uh, there are a few others hiding in the room somewhere. They're just a little bit better at it than you. Oh. Listen... I am aware, this, which is why I did try to do it again. A very wise move. Oh, I sorry. don't even. I don't even. Okay, I don't know who these people are. Um, <laughs> right. Poor Abigail. Does, does it feel like the, w there's any danger to that's gonna like anyone's Roll, in any danger? Let's do insight. Okay. Like being semi aware of who this is and all that as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it to you at advantage with your knowledge. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, let's see if I do better. Okay, that's better. 18. Oh, uh, it's like it is. Uh, plus six or 24. Uh, now there's no danger at this point. Um, I mean, there's always danger when dealing with Faye on some level, but with this particular one, you're you're pretty safe. Um, she's known Sir to make, Wellington's she's known to head. only really make dangerous deals with bad boys. She'll seduce them and then kind of turn around on their head because she thinks it's karmically funny. Uh, <laughs> I love her. What? So, 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 Sir, well, Sir, so, so, Sir Wellington is like, oh yeah, she's cool. Yeah. She's cool. I, I, I like his, his, the his one head, exception like, being this arch devil because of the fact that she had a kid with him. <laughs> Exclusion, you know, Sir your head pokes around the corner, going, Is it all good now? 
It's fine. Oh. It is fine. You are free to come out. Kind of like nervously looks up. He goes, hi. Hello. It is good to see you. Sir Wellington. Yes. You, you're you okay. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. It, it, it's Should, really good to see Callie you. I have rolling a deception check right now. No, she's legitimately excited because she saw him in like the prison and that was the last. No, she, no. Oh, she did see the trail. She did and see the trail. Apart. She was a witness to that. Hi. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, she saw Marcus literally get laughed. What the hell? Yeah, there's deception happening. <laughs> roll deception, Hi. Sir Wellington. Roll insight. Oh God. <laughs> Let's see if Callie can hide her utter terror at seeing him. Oh fuck no. <laughs> Do you I don't, don't even roll. You don't even roll. She says no. It's a dirty ass one. <laughs> oh, okay. A dirty well, I got one. an eight, I, I got, have a minus one. So I got an eighteen. So oh. yeah. Even the, <laughs> Fane, even the Fane notices. Yeah. This. Everyone notices. Callie <laughs> is horrified at the sight of Sir Wellington. Horrified. She is not hiding it at all. She's trying. But she's doing a horrible job at it. Really but, bad job. But, but, what? What's? What? Why are you so scared? Um. Do you? I. Um. Hmm. I haven't seen you for like two weeks. No, we. You. You little shit. You went up. I forget his name. Proteus? Yes, yeah, the one. He's <laughs> <laughs> like a little shit and Proteus. Just. Who's. Uh huh? I, I've heard someone say, say that before, but. Uh, uh... Why do people keep referring to me as Proteus? Insight. Go for it. Yeah, can I as well? Sure. You have no idea what's going on, but yeah. I bore witness yeah. to him ripping himself in twain. Oh, there we go. That's Abigail I know. A whole <laughs> six. <laughs> Abigail's like... The fuck's going on here, guys? I don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, he does not appear to be aware of. Oh well, you know what? Hang on. I would like Ian to roll either perception or deception. Don't tell anyone which. I. I'm sorry, not perception. Either persuasion or deception. Don't tell anyone which. Okay. Um. What's the result? D, D, it's 15. 15. Okay. He does not appear to know from... it. it, it. He seems confused. He seems genuinely confused. This is going to have to be a private conversation then. Uh-oh. Be okay. a one on one with you, you and me, buddy. Okay. Different time in a different place. Kind of in the middle of something. Well, with my husband uh, gone from this plane, thanks to the efforts of your friend, uh, which is most unfortunate. I, um, I did not know he could do that in my defense. Yeah, neither did he I. He seems kind of a dweeb. It's all right. It's none Wait. of your faults. The banishment was your friend? Who would... What were we talking about? Marcus. Fucking God. I take the compliments back. <laughs> what? Mm. Wait, you were being we... so nice, Abigail. Yeah, but... Abigail. That's not Ab Abigail. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's that's Abigail. Mm-hmm. Dolores Are is like, sure? yeah, this is Abigail. Abigail's was... Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. She's human now. Why are you so bright? She's mm, human now. Don't talk to me about it. <laughs> she she has a heart that pumps blood. Unfortunately. All right. It's a lot to take in all at once. I don't like you being so bright. I'm going to not look at you anymore. I don't either. Look at the one who's talking about being bright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Alyssa What are you talking about? From everyone at that. What do you mean? You're a Look at yourself. <laughs> I mean, now there's more blue. Suddenly there's more blue. What are you, you talking are, you about? You wear a lot of colors and you uh, have multiple flames on you, Dolor- uh, uh Not Dolores. Uh, Deidre's going to kind of point out. She goes, but, but it's it's cute. It's cute. Do I need to play music again? She gets she gets awkward and dim and little blushy and just. The... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, to 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 ease to ease the tension, would would you guys like cookies? I have more cookies. I think we can all retire to the dining hall for some cookies and refreshments i know my small friend here is mm. an excellent cook thank you as you guys sorry reti- Mar- marcus told me to against bay food were not i will not be the one serving it therefore it will not be fake food it's, uh, co- it's coming out of my bag of holding. Room. You've had it before, Callie. Okay. The servants of the castle will pre- prepare the rest of the meal. And Deidre will kind of shrug. I mean, you've eaten here before. But was that fey food? Exactly. You wouldn't do that. Okay. As you guys retire down to the uh, to the dining hall to sort this mess out, uh, can I get a perception check from Marcus? All right, here we go. More shit. That is a seventeen. Seventeen. All right. So close. Uh, as you're going along, talking, planning, things seem good. Uh, all of a sudden, not unlike Gimli in Lord of the Rings, you you round a tree and whoop, there's an arrow pointed right at your nose from a bow. These various fey creatures seem to have come out of nowhere and you are pretty well surrounded. Is this about the party? Because we don't need to do the lights. Flying over about yay big is Oviren. He goes, Oh, he's little. Yeah, he has shrunk down to travel size. For your convenience. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, Oviren. <laughs> a little bit easier to sneak around at this size. He's not within arm's oh. reach of you, but he is, you know, fl- <laughs> floating, fluttering around ahead. And he goes, oh, no, this is not about the party, which, by the way, is still on. But it appears one of these kids here stole something from me while you were talking. And I expect to receive it back right now. And that's where we'll leave off tonight. Oh, boy. Okay. He's being caught red Thank you for joining us. Oh, my gosh. We just got a raid. Another one? Hi, we're leaving. I'm so sorry. So, to catch you guys up, um Callie, played by the wonderful Selkie here, uh, okay. is a little fire genasi, Charmander, because she went through some experimentations and has a tail with a little flame on the end now. Um is Your resident past- raging flaming gay. Yes, uh, who has managed to unintentionally um attract uh slash seduce the heir to both a level of hell and the 
river country of uh the the fey realm Phalia. um mm -hmm. dual heiress there in two different universes three if you I'm count this ready. continent which was controlled by her father up until a few days ago when he was banished by marcus um eh. played by matt over here who is currently in the fey wilds and uh having a uh, rather concerning Funny. face off with an arch fey yeah yeah um <laughs> oh it's okay poor timing is is no you're fine you're fine thank you for joining us um and then uh sir wellington here and abigail uh played by by ian and naz respectively they were kind of tagging along with um no they weren't tagging along they were going to rescue abigail's sister from a necromancer that abigail had previously been working with there was some betrayal going on kind of got really wonky for a bit um abigail was a dom peer has been reincarnated as a human after an unfortunate now early demise <laughs> what <laughs> i think up what you're putting down uh -huh. <laughs> doesn't understand it, but it's fine he's gonna laugh along anyways i will <laughs> so uh <laughs> Sorry, Naz. <laughs> they break me a lot. They break me a lot. I got it. I didn't I'm even hear. Yeah. Now said I got it. I didn't even. I'm I know. I'm just. Me. I'm just saying. I'm sorry for making those jokes about. That, I didn't you know. even hear. You're it. fine. I don't care. You said Dompier, which is a really weird pronunciation of it. I've never heard it pronounced really? like that. Yeah. I've heard it's, it a couple times. I've always heard it as Dampier. I'm pretty sure Matt Mercer pronounces it as Dompier. Does people eh. say like P eight like fear too? I'm like okay. Dom fear? Oh yeah. Vampire. Vampire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's yeah. Dampire, 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 Dampire. Who knows? Something Who like that. Who knows? Whatever it is, she's no longer that. Right. Right. Yeah. Welcome the uh, yeah mortality. the overlay. Well, it's a recent change. She, she was was Dampire, Dampire, however it's pronounced up until recently. But yeah, we'll have to update that soon. Um. Update we'll get, the wiki. We'll update get updated the... character art for everyone as well. Um, we do need updated character art. Yeah, we do. We do. It's been a while. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, Marcus has a beard now. We'll go tea. Well, yeah, he does. Yeah, no beard. And, We've been here and a while. then LinkedIn's still the same. That's true. Uh, and uh, so Sir Wellington and Abigail were going to rescue Abigail's sister. They're working on getting back on track but they kind of got sidetracked thinking they had to rescue Callie uh because Callie kind of looked like she was in trouble as an archfey had kidnapped her turns out it was just Callie's girlfriend's mom who was kind of <laughs> resolving the little spat the two girls had had earlier you know parents getting in the way of high school romance basically yeah uh if you no if your parents me. were literal gods <laughs> it's fine it's fine. <laughs> Definitely not. So Callie got actually Callie getting banished. Callie wandering off into the marshes following the music probably was the best thing that could have happened for her because now instead of having to face off with an angry art archfey, she's um getting to reunite with um her will they won't they romantic um second half. <laughs> My Welcome to the subplot of this game where it is basically Riverdale with just one person. <laughs> basically, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then That's you got Marcus over here getting shafted. The brain and the bacon. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I, I still can't believe he was able to lie to Ovarion straight in the face. That was like... only because you got the nat 20. I was very impressed. I oh. was so impressed by that. I'm like, that Marcus. is cleric just pulling in the riz right there he good job riz cleric yep riz cleric all right he did pull in sorcia so there's something there he just says riz it is very unintentional yeah <laughs> sir wellington by the way is a uh appears to be a six-year-old gnome child um who is an insanely gifted wizard for his age size etc um and he and Callie have some beef that they need to, to sort out. Um, 
because tune in next week yeah <laughs> tune in yeah. next week hey yo so <laughs> now that now i'm nervous for next week yeah next week you're gonna have to have a hard conversation with callie about <laughs> your little background info that's gonna oh, be fun wow. i feel so bad for you uh, oh you're yeah, fine you just have party, to with have combat with a demigod no not a demigod an actual god the kids I'm just, the party gonna have only I'm one character coffee. has made it through that, and we both know what the hell happened after. I, I'm just going to say this. I'm just glad that this one-on-one -on -one is happening with Callie and not Marcus. You get to deal with Big Sister first, then you get to handle Dad. I'm the it's, one who sneaks you beer. It's true. It's We're going to have a chat. Marcus yeah. would probably just smite immediately and just... Oh, him. yeah, no. I'm like... <laughs> The, I'm like, yeah, no, Marcus, see, the moment Marcus sees him, he is immediately blasting. This will be fine. It's on site. It'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, Anymore, tune in next week. Next We're week. here every Thursday. Um, we run usually 8-ish to about this time uh, Eastern. So 8 to about 11-something Eastern usually is, is what we run. Um, catch Hopefully us next we week. Actually, what? Yeah. Hopefully we actually start at eight next week. We, we did won't. this time. No, um, we didn't. We did. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, Continue. we we started at eight CST. No, we didn't. It was like almost no, nine we EST. We did. We did. Huh. We did. Yes. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll start earlier next week. Um, we've had some technical difficulties today. I'm going to update my computer and see if that'll fix some of the problems. If not, maybe I'll just save up and get a new computer. We'll see. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, they have a lot of great campaigns on this channel. A lot of emotional de uh, damage. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mazrix. I appreciate you joining. Uh, catch us next week. And I appreciate all of you. Uh, stay safe. Stay lost. Um, catch us tomorrow for Legends of Kralis, which is a science fantasy aether punk adventure that uh, three of us play in. It's it's getting wild. Uh, and then Monday we're gonna be the... leaving political drama. It's, it's gonna be true. Exciting. We're gonna yes, back to yes. adventuring. Back yes. to adventuring. Back to adventuring. Um, Monday is the Iowan Adventures. Tuesday is State of the Union, and then they're they have a new one on Saturday, which I'm not sure what the name is. Um, I, I'll learn it soon. Um, Moonlight. What? Moonlight, Moonlight Matriarchy? Moonlight Matriarchy. Justin? That sounds something like that. Moonlight Matriarchy or something like that. It's a really cool cast. I've watched a couple of good episodes. Um, yes, I... <laughs> yes, of course I noticed you. And yes, I appreciate you. You're a great DM. Uh, so thank you guys for joining us. Stay safe and uh, stay lost, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye now.